In California, wildfire smoke can have an impact on work sites across the state. Cal OSHA requires employers to protect workers when the air is unhealthy due to wildfire smoke. In this training, we will discuss wildfire smoke hazards and present an overview of what California workers need to know about employers' requirements to protect them. Wildfire smoke contains many hazardous chemicals, but the main harmful pollutant for people who are not close to the fire is particulate matter, tiny liquid and solid particles suspended in the air. The tiniest airborne particulate matter are called PM 2.5 because they are 2.5 micrometers in diameter or smaller. To put that in perspective, the average human hair is about 70 micrometers in diameter. That's about 30 times bigger than these fine particles from wildfire smoke. PM 2.5 particles and droplets stay in the air longer and are usually the most harmful. They can get into your lungs and even be absorbed into the bloodstream. They can irritate the lungs and cause persistent coughing, phlegm, wheezing, or difficulty breathing. They can also cause more serious problems such as reduced lung function, bronchitis, worsening of asthma, and heart failure. Cal OSHA has a regulation to protect workers from wildfire smoke. Title 8, Section 5141.1. Workers are not covered under this regulation if they work in a structure or vehicle where the air is filtered through a mechanical ventilation system and the employer ensures that windows and doors are kept closed, except when it's necessary to open doors to enter or exit. Read the regulation for more types of workers who are not covered. The link is below the video. The regulation requires employers to protect their workers from the effects of wildfire smoke when the employer should reasonably anticipate that employees may be exposed to wildfire smoke and the current air quality index or AQI for PM 2.5 is 151 or higher. The current AQI is a measurement used by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency or EPA to inform people how polluted the air is. Various pollutants such as ozone and carbon monoxide also have an AQI but the only one used in the Cal OSHA regulation is the one for PM 2.5. The current AQI for PM 2.5 is divided into six categories as shown in this table. If the AQI is 151 or higher, air quality is considered unhealthy for everyone. Over 300 is considered hazardous. Various government agencies monitor the air at locations throughout California and report the current AQI for those places. To determine the current AQI at or near your workplace, you can go to the EPA webpage, airnow.gov, where you can type in your location and it will tell you the current AQI and the forecasted AQI. You can also obtain this information from the web pages of the U.S. Forest Service, the Interagency Wildland Fire Air Quality Response Program, the California Air Resources Board, the Local Air Pollution Control District, or the Local Air Quality Management District. If you are able to access the EPA website, enviroflash.info, you can sign up to receive daily and forecasted AQIs by text or email for particular cities or zip codes. You can also contact your employer for the current AQI. They are required to check the current AQI at the start of each shift and periodically after and to inform employees. Links to these web pages are below this video. Employers can also determine the current AQI for PM 2.5 at their workplace by taking measurements with a direct reading instrument and using the table in Appendix A of the Cal OSHA standard to convert the readings to a current AQI. If the current AQI is 151 or higher, then the employer must reduce employee exposure to PM 2.5. They have several options, but they have to start by seeing if they can move the work indoors or into a vehicle where the air is filtered. If they can't, then they must try to move the work to a location where the current AQI is lower, change work schedules, reduce work intensity, or provide more rest periods. If your employer takes all of these measures, but you are still working in air with an AQI of 151 or higher, then your employer must provide respirators certified by the National Institute, NIOSH. 
Respirators can provide effective protection from wildfire smoke, but they must be the kind that filter particles, such as an N95 or P100 filtering facepiece respirator. See Cal OSHA's Respiratory Protection Standard, Section 5144, for what employers are required to do if any of their workers use respirators. If the current AQI is from 151 to 500, then employers must provide NIOSH certified respirators to all employees for voluntary use. People who have a heart or lung problem should ask their health care provider before using a respirator. If the current AQI is more than 500, then employers must provide respirators and everyone must use them, except workers conducting emergency or rescue operations. When respirator use is required, your employer must protect you under their respiratory protection program, including medical evaluations and fit testing. Remember that respirators can protect you, but only if they are selected, worn, and taken care of properly. To wear a filtering face piece respirator properly, such as an N95 mask, follow the manufacturer's instructions. Typically, you place the top strap near the top of your head and the bottom strap below your ears. Check the face seal and tighten the nose clip so that the mask feels snug on your face and you don't have any gaps around the edges. Gaps will let the tiny wildfire smoke particles get inside the respirator. If you're required to use a respirator, you must also shave any facial hair that could interfere with a good seal. And don't wear the straps over a hat, glasses, or hood because those will also prevent a tight seal. When not wearing your respirator, like when you're eating lunch, store it so it doesn't get dirty. Otherwise, the respirator itself could become a hazard. Also, these types of respirators only provide protection against particles and only up to a certain concentration of particles in the air. They do not protect you from toxic gases and vapors, and they do not protect you in a low oxygen atmosphere. Your employer must train you on proper respirator use, including limitations such as these and the other information listed in Appendix B of the Wildfire Smoke Regulation. Also, remember that a cloth face covering, such as those worn to prevent the spread of COVID-19, is not a respirator, and neither are surgical masks, bandanas, and scarves. None of these will adequately protect you from wildfire smoke. Your employer needs to communicate with you and provide you with training and instruction so that you understand what they are doing to protect you from exposure to wildfire smoke. This needs to include the information contained in Appendix B of the Cal OSHA regulation. Your employer is also required to encourage you to inform them if you notice the air quality getting worse, or if you start having symptoms that may be due to wildfire smoke, such as asthma attacks, difficulty breathing, or chest pain. For more information about how to protect yourself from wildfire smoke hazards, click the links to Cal OSHA webpages and fact sheets below the video. If you feel signs or symptoms of wildfire smoke exposure at work, you have the right to seek medical attention without your employer retaliating against you. Remember, you have a right to stay safe and healthy on the job. <laughs>